graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. He is a comic book nerd. In brightest day and darkest night. We can learn a lot from comics. She is a reality TV junkie. No idea. Snooki had her baby. A dollar makes me holla. Chris likes sci-fi. They keep your, they do a brain transplant into this whole new body, but it's you. Kristen likes celebrity gossip. Breaking what do you news. Do? Oh, more breaking news? Official. Uh-huh. Official. Or it was just a rumor. Hey, Stu, our pets moved back in together. What do they have in common? Nothing. You're listening to Two Strangers, One Podcast. Now, here's Chris and Kristen. Well, hello and welcome to Two Strangers, One Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Kristen. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. I want to read something that I kind of loaded up and I haven't read. I honestly have never looked this up before. Okay. I'm okay, nervous so I'm just gonna start. I'm just going to start reading. A girl who is warm and... Humani? During the day, a classy girl know how to enjoy the freedom of a cup of coffee. Okay, I'm drinking a, coffee. A girl's who heart gets warmer when night comes. Mm-hmm. A girl with that kind of twist. Okay. Um, I'm a guy. Mm-hmm. A guy who is warm as you <laughs> during the day. A guy beautiful. <laughs> who one shots his coffee before it even cools down. A guy like whose heart going on. <laughs> burst. You need a lot of caffeine. Okay, what I'm reading yeah. is allegedly. I could be totally wrong. The Americanized English version of Gangnam, Gangnam Style. Style. Okay, um, that's loosely translated. Loosely translated. About um, coffee. Who knows? Who would have thought we were dancing and listening to a coffee song? Yeah. Well, I mean, that song gets your heart pumping. Right, yeah. Bump, bump, it's gonna bump. be Dunkin' Donuts like new theme. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, here we go. America runs on Gangnam. Gangnam. Duncan style. <laughs> oh, perfect. It's, it's Trade right market. <laughs> Duncan style. And you have that the Dun- little um Dun- stick figure guy from the cup doing oh, yeah, the Gangnam yeah. style the dance. Style. Oh, come on. Here we go. Trade Duncan market. style. <laughs> Duncan <laughs> style. Boston cream. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. So, okay, I like that line. A guy and this is the first time I'm reading yeah. it. I said, "Let me just save it for the show." A guy who one shots his coffee before it even cools down. Mm-hmm. A guy's who heart. A guy's a guy whose heart bursts when the night comes. You grew all the fucking coffee all day. Yeah. You all jacked up on espresso. <laughs> Beautiful, lovable. Yes, you. Hey, mm. yes, you. Hey. Hey. Beautiful, lovable. Okay. Opa Gangnam Style. Opa Gangnam Style. Sexy lady. Sexy lady. A girl who looks quiet but plays when she plays. I like that. Um, a girl who puts her hair down when the nighttime comes. Oh, he's a freak. I like this guy. Lady. A girl I like who, this guy. <laughs> a girl who covers herself mm-hmm. but is more sexy than a girl who bears it all. There you go. I like that line. That's hot. Ooh, baby. Beautiful. Uh, that. Um, okay. I'm a guy. <laughs> a guy who seems calm but plays when he plays. A guy who is who a guy who goes completely crazy when the right time comes. <laughs> Um, a guy who has bulging ideas rather than muscles. I'm that kind of guy. Here we guy. go. Chris is loving hey, it. <laughs> this guy's earning more respect than my line. Yeah, Opa again with style. Sexy who would have thought it was lady. so uh, deep? Yeah. What a deep song. And, and I like a girl who's quiet, but she there plays you go. when she plays. Hey, uh, <laughs> na, na. <laughs> um, Opa Gangnam style. Okay, on, on top version. of the running man Still is going? the flying man, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. I'm the man who knows a thing or two. Mm-hmm. And it's just <laughs> the same stuff over and over oh, and over again. But wow. Take a shot of coffee. Yeah. I'm, yeah take a, <laughs> Everybody take, take a, a shot. shot of coffee in honor Opa of Opa Duncan style. style. <sighs> Opa Duncan <laughs> style. And then the Greeks wow. are going to have one. Opa. Opa. Opa Gundam style. Floor. That's, That's deep. beautiful. Yeah. Who would have thought? See, the only ones I knew was sexy late or whatever it is. <laughs> and now, why do they? You know, it? the whole thing's like all, you know, the other language, and then they do sexy late. <laughs> <laughs> I think because he knew he was going to cross over to okay. the U.S., so he was smart enough to uh, put that put in, in a nice and English then, word. Because then there's a part of the song where it kind of gets really fast. Goes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so <laughs> he knew. 
he knew this was going to court. Five hundred million hits on YouTube. Genius. And that's not that's counting stupid song, but all the other people who also reposted the video mm-hmm. and all the remixes right, right. and stuff like that. So wow. his legitimate YouTube five hundred million, so halfway to a billion. You know, man. The song is catchy as fuck. <laughs> and, you know, for someone like me, like, I'm not into dance music. I like, I'm a metal love head. love dance music. Oh, but that just song, it just gets, it gets into my skin. It's so stupid and great. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, and, you know, <laughs> it goes back to actually having fun. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the lyrics are kind of, the lyrics are kind of deep. I mean, not deep, but, you know, like, I, I, I don't know. It, it's, it, yeah. Like, it rubs me the right way. <laughs> Chris is loving it now. Um, yeah, and it's crossed over into the Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> yeah, you said... <laughs> I, I read it today that they, I guess they did it. They did Gangnam Style. And, like, the guy, like, stripped the, uh... pretty naked, which is <laughs> pretty nice to see, because they got some good bodies there on that show, those oh. dancers. <laughs> but I guess now, I don't know, it's catching on. 500 million, I would think. Yeah, I know they said, um... What is it, Sarah Palin? Not Sarah Palin. Uh, Bristol Palin. No, oh, yeah, she, she was, was having problems with her. She was getting like death threats again. I think a package was sent that was like it got to that level. Oh my! God. Or an envelope. Something was sent to like the studio. Oh shit! I think okay. she might be off the show. Now. I don't know. I don't watch a show. Yeah, but I just like a couple weeks the ago there was something celebrity sent. Celebrity gossip news that she was beefing with her um oh, her yeah, dancer, her, yeah. the, the dancer that she's allegedly the star, right? And yeah, the dancer but, and. I don't know. Did, I don't they think had, they said like, he some hit little... her. Did he no, hit her? I... Oh, I don't know that. I think it's either one of two things. Either Just like the shit he yelled at her <laughs> to either he got very very rude and yelled at her or something like that, that where he kind of put her in check. But I think like I don't know. Maybe he pushed her for down. For some reason, I'm I have it. I'm under the impression that he <laughs> hit her. Or if maybe he like hit her, acci- I think that would be or accidentally hit her or something like that or Let's or see. like he was moving in anger. Like, maybe not to hit her, but, like, maybe he was, like, flailing, flailing his arms and hit her or something like that. Like, I don't think it was a straight-up um, like assault, the shit out of her. but I think um, there was bad blood, or he was frustrated I know they with got, her because... Yeah, they got, like, in a she's verbal a, argument. She's, you know, she's not a dancer. Right. <laughs> you, know like, you know, they That's call the show Dancing with the Stars because you're, gonna, you're Cause you suck. getting somebody who doesn't <laughs> dance, you know, with a professional dancer. That's the whole... Uh, that's the whole idea, the fun of putting people who generally aren't known for dancing. I mean, come on, we've had, you know, Jerry Springer and... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Master P was on there. Yeah, Master P. He, like, could barely uh, move. He was like, all right, guys, yeah, just so vote me off. I've done you know, my that's part. That's the whole joke of the show, that you have people that can't dance. That's why, who did who they have? Dance. Like, one of the Pussycat Dolls or somebody on there, and it was like... And, like, Maya, Maya, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, they're dancers. Like, <laughs> Now that's cheating. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, they're performers, and they dance when they perform. So it's oh, like, okay. Aw. So, yeah, like... Like, they were, like, really good on the show. <laughs> so, like, like the sucks. ultimate Dancing with the Stars would be, like... <laughs> People um, who don't dance. A Pussycat like, Doll. No, yeah. and, like, like um, Paula Let's Abdul. See. Paula Abdul. <laughs> Usher. Uh, yeah, Usher. <laughs> Usher would tear that shit off. <laughs> Uh, like Britney Spears. <laughs> All these professional yeah, dancers. Now, like, if, like, if they had the money, they oh would be God. the, um, dance, they would be yeah, the dancers. They would be the They just take over the, the dancers. The dancers and, and the stars. Yeah, it would just be solos. They wouldn't even have, <laughs> have the professionals out there. As opposed Why to. you like, guys just do a show? <laughs> Master P and Jerry Springer and, and They always have Alley a football player. And a football player. They always and a have a football player. And, a boxer. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful. Okay, so as we record this, we're less than a week away from yes. Halloween, and we're we're Spooky. less than a week away from our road trip. We're we're taking a road trip down to orig- the the first destination is New York City, then the second de- destination is Red Bank, New Jersey. For uh, we're going all over the map. <laughs> yeah, it's you know we're going uh, East Coast style for uh, to be on uh, the Smod Coast Morning Show, but you know with Halloween around the corner, you know Halloween is such a big holiday for me yeah and I usually haven't... me too usually i am thinking of a costume usually by this time i have one and i'm ready and i'm excited because uh-huh. i was something stupid you know mm-hmm. um but i even put any thought into it because i know we're gonna be i'm yeah. not gonna be here for actual halloween i so. kind of i have the pieces of my costume well you, are not you gonna all my pieces tell I'll, me what you are i want to be a review i'm gonna be um 
I Gangnam Style? Oh, no. oh. <laughs> if I'm, <laughs> I feel like a boombox just. <laughs> I would. I'm pretty there. sure a whole people oh, are gonna, yeah, a whole yeah. bunch of people. This year it's gonna be a whole bunch of Gangnam Styles and Honey Boo Boos. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm pretty. You know, uh, I would like to go to the New York um, Halloween Parade. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna see a lot of guys with sunglasses and lights. Oh yeah, um, and the sound, or and, the music and, just blasting too. Because even last night. Um, on the episode of South Park. Oh, you did know, they do South it? Park, what I like Stays about them is that they're really right on top. They are. Uh, they went to a Halloween party and it was like, you know, out of like 30 <laughs> people in the room, like 15 of them were gang and stuff. Even, um, t- uh, not Timmy, uh, Jimmy, the one with the oh, crutches. crutches yeah. And you know, he sticks yeah. with the, he kind of, yeah. he kind of speaks with a stutter, so he goes, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So that was, you know, it's wrong, but I think it was That's funny South Park for you. Um, <laughs> it's never, yeah, if you're, if it's never you're right. If you're worried about getting offended, you shouldn't be watching you're South not Park anyway. Um, so what have you decided on? I'm going to be old school Robin from Batman and Robin. Oh, right, right. I remember and you saying that. My daughter um, will be your Batman. She has her Batman pajamas right up there, right, it's kind of behind everything. Do you and want then, me to be the penguin? Um, <laughs> that would be, because, I don't know, do you have a tuxedo? I can find one. I can find one last minute. That would like, um... And I, get, I have to, like, blow it up. Because it would be relatively easy for us to get you, waddle. like, a monocle and oh, one yeah. of those, like, hook noses, like a... Because nowadays, um... And I got a waddle, I could do that. There's gotta be money in these... There's a freaking party city on every oh, corner. Yeah. And those ones that where they just rent out the building? Yeah, they rent... You know, for a I can think months. of, like, four party series... Four party cities in this immediate area. And there's and the where they rent, well, out, yeah. they rent out the store for yeah, a couple yeah. of months and... I love you know. going in there. I have the most fun. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so stupid to me, but I love it. I like going in a store only except... That I'm kind of I like I like homemade costumes. Oh, I like okay. costumes. Yeah, no, I'm not crafty, uh-huh. <laughs> and I don't claim to be. So I like going in and just finding new stuff, and this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, because last year, um, no, what was it? What was I last year? Um, I didn't go out last year either. I've been really. Well, I took my stepson out for trick or treating, and I yeah, so you what have the kids. Hell I so. was. Um, but like the year before that, I was Captain Spaulding from The Devil's Rejects. Mm-hmm. You know, I put clown makeup on. Um, I think you showed me a picture of that. Yeah, Should there's a picture of it on my Facebook. Creepy fuck. Um, <laughs> you know, a couple years ago, I mean, I've been Ozzy Osbourne. I've been Silent Bob from Jay and Silent Bob. Um, I was I was a cheap devil one year where basically I just put horns on my hat and wore a red button yeah. down shirt. Uh, I'm trying to think. I've been, okay, I went into a Halloween store at college. Everybody, you know, was getting their stuff. Mm-hmm. I had no idea what I was going to be. I found a wand uh-huh. and a scarf and glasses. I was Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> it was so stupid. Was it like a striped scarf? Like a, Oh, yeah, it was like the Harry Gryffindor. Potter. There was just, it wasn't even like in a package. It was kind of just like draped on. I was like, side. all right, take this. The clearance take bin. this. I'm in college. I'm cheap at this time. This yeah. is what I am. Yeah, money's tight when you're in college. And I had like a white shirt that I wrote like Harry Potter. <laughs> Sorcerer Stone. Well, you take some lipstick and draw a little. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, no, I had your... the tattoos, and I wasn't really. I never watched Harry Potter. I just knew it, you know. Oh. So I didn't realize that it went like up here. I put like all these tattoos on my arm. Oh, just these lightning, but like it was so stupid. But it was a hit. Yeah. <laughs> and then the year after that, what else? Oh, Flavor Flav. <laughs> Flavor Flav. How yeah. the heck were you Flavor Flav? Um, did you wear like a Viking helmet and? Oh yeah, I had the jeans? helmet. Um, I had a pimp cup. That's hilarious. I guess I guess he has one. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, painted play. my face a different color, which is probably not oh good. My God. <laughs> and the best was we went to a college party. What else? I had so much stuff like the glasses. opinions of Kristen yeah. do not necessarily <laughs> yes. reflect Two Strangers One Podcast. And now I didn't realize maybe that that's wrong to do until mm-hmm. like later. Like now, I'm like maybe I shouldn't have done that, but people <laughs> loved it. And um, I went well, to. I think if- I mean, that situation. Flavor. Yeah, yeah, I don't think when it's done, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't done in in nastiness. Right, right. Meanness. And this was it the was, time when he had his stupid shows. Yeah, Flavor when he was, love. When he was. Yeah. Uh, and I, on one top. thing I couldn't find was a grill. That's all I wanted. A grill. And oh, uh, shit. the you best was we went to... Um, just get some aluminum foil. I know, that's like, what I was know, thinking. Just yeah, I was aluminum like... foil all night, so when it wears out, you just put another layer <laughs> on your teeth. And, oh, I have rings. I look like an ass. But, um... 
Uh, oh, we went to like a house party first before we went out because there was going to be a Halloween or a contest, whatever costume mm-hmm. contest. So we're like, yeah, we'll go to it. So we went to this house party first, face painted, whatever. Mm-hmm. And the, it was a guy's house. So, you know, lights were like dim because mm-hmm. nobody changes a bulb or anything. Oh, <laughs> so it was you. like that. So we're in the kitchen and this one girl looks at me. She's like, you went on vacation. Oh, thinking shit. I had a tan. <laughs> And I'm like, no. <laughs> First of all, if I was this color, uh-huh. please, you know, say get out of the sun or something. I was like, no, I'm I was Flav Flav. Flav. Like, You look like the tan mom. Right. Yeah, exactly. I was like, no. <laughs> and then we went to the bar, actually won the, um, oh yeah, yeah Night O'Clock, of course. Contest. Costume contest because this one girl that I know mm-hmm. who is a black female, uh-huh. <laughs> she went as New York. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna go as New York, oh, and then we, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it was last minute, literally, like before. She's like, I'm gonna dress like this. We're going. And I was mm-hmm. like, perfect. And if you're New York, all you needed D is just dress. Just, yeah, she was dressed like in a like a black team. dress. <laughs> <laughs> and we kept yelling like, you know what time it is? <laughs> like with the stupid clock that I took off our apartment wall. Like, oh, that's hilarious. It was from like IKEA. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> it the didn't big, work giant anymore. Clock. Oh yeah. yeah. And um, I don't think even his work. Was yeah, there. right. <laughs> where, where were you late to? And then um. <laughs> So the best was going in with the bouncer. He's like, are you Flav of Flav? And I was like, yeah. He's like, you need to put shoe polish on because he's much darker than that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, okay. And I don't want to get it. But it was for a hate crime. Yeah, right. I was like, I, this is all I, it, they had it at the store. It was like a tube of brown. I don't oh, even okay. know. <laughs> but it was so gross because as soon as, like, you came back from, Obviously, the night, like, mm-hmm. it was like you had to go right in the shower. And get oh, yeah, that's always the case. You're not, you have makeup yeah. and stuff like that. You're now, not going straight to bed. <laughs> me being a guy, I don't, oh, that's what I, one year I actually did, like, the full face, um, Day of the Dead, um, skull makeup. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, me being a guy, I don't know about makeup. You know right. what I'm saying? And at the end of the night, like, oh my God, and I'm like it's in so the shower, gross. and I'm trying to, and like, you know, and my, I was with my ex-wife at the time, and she's like, you know, oh, put Noxema on. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this, this is worse than the fucking do. makeup. And in my, it's getting in my eyes, it's stinging it's me. It's so like, gross, yeah. I hate yeah. makeup, I'm never going to wear this shit again. Never again. Yeah. Speaking of Flavor Flav, did uh-huh. you hear he was in the news like a week ago? No, oh, He's no. making a comeback, not wow. in a good way. Uh, oh apparently he went after his, I guess he's engaged. I don't mm-hmm. know to who. He went after his fiance and the fiance's son with like knives. Oh, okay. yeah, dispute. I did hear something like that. Yeah, he's, um. He's not right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think he's one of those where, you know, he is ghetto through and through. Oh, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was lucky for a little while that people had cameras on him. Right. But, like, you know, you can take the boy out of the ghetto. You can take the ghetto out of the boy. Yeah, so and, I don't know. It didn't say he was on anything or anything like that. All it said was he was just angry going after them. he's one of those where he has, like, a whole bunch of different kids from different yeah, yeah, women. Oh, okay. And then, you know. So this son wasn't actually boy. his. It was actually the fiance's. Wait, what? The, the kid wasn't even his. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Because I was like, he's got so many kids. This isn't his own. <laughs> yeah, that's like, Jesus. So I don't, yeah, I don't know who, he's, he, who he is uh, engaged to, but I guess he had knives yeah, in both I guess hands. I never worked with uh, him in... Um, New York, yeah. Well, New York or, uh, what was it? Um, Red Sonia, the one that had an affair with... Oh, God, uh, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, Bridget. Oh Bridget. Bridget. Bridget Nielsen, yeah. yeah. I think she's going through some... Hard times, right? Yeah, that whole... <laughs> she was found not too long ago in, like, the park in California, like, yeah, wasted. Really? All those people on, um... What did they call that show? The Real House? No, not The Real House. Surreal... Surreal, Surreal House. Life or... Surreal Life, Something, yeah. yeah, where they had all the husbands you know, on China. there. China. You know? And I love China. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I she mean, went for out of the bands, a woman so. that was, you know, not very feminine, you know, I thought she was attractive. In her, in the height, in, in the height yeah. of her career, not right, not not this whole downward spiral. Um, you know, I liked her in wrestling, and then you go on to surreal life, and like she's all fucked up, and yeah, she's, she's on pills, and I was like, it's sad what? to see that. And, and I would it really is, naturally yeah. assume because I actually read her her autobiography. Oh yeah, um, yeah. The, you know, when did I did it come out like during the time she was all when she was in her up, height. Or? No, no, oh, she okay. was the height of her career. Uh, WWF. Um, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't like an, a legitimate autobiography. I'm pretty sure there was ghost writers and stuff yeah, like oh, that. Yeah, oh, you think she wrote it? <laughs> oh, yeah. And, you know, you see, and actually, right when she first started, uh, WWF, she kind of had like a stronger jawline. Oh, yeah. Her nose, like, she actually got 
surgery oh, yeah, to and get now, her face more feminized. Really? Because she was always kind of beefy, mannish. masculine. And um well now well nowadays you see her like she's got her lips done and all, yeah, you know you now, now she's just a fucking uh, train wreck. She, I didn't she's, know she did that before. Like <laughs> yeah, be she more had, feminized. And but um in the height of her career and all this, you know, she obviously works out. You, you know think? what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> just a little bit. I mean, it just blew my mind that why would somebody who you spent all this time getting your body in shape, right, and why, top physical condition? Yeah, you know, and I understand wrestling's not real, but you know, you and that's why you you beef up yourself more because you have to look good in front of the cameras. It's not about right. performance. You know, it's about yeah, looking image, good. Yeah. And <clears throat> she looked good in the height of her career, and then you know. Drinking and popping pills, I know. And, and it's like you it fucked just, it up. It, 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 it bothers me. It upsets yeah. me. Like you know, especially if you would invest all the time working, working up, out, and then you're just yeah. gonna let Fuck it all it go. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Fortunately, that's common. And she would have for people. She would have had a career even after. <clears throat> I mean, you know, for her skill set, I'm pretty sure WWF was the top of the mountain, but. You know, there's other, um. She could have been a personal trainer for, you know. You know, go on TV. Open a she gym. was acting on, um, third, third, uh, third Rock from the Sun. Oh, or, was she? Yeah. Oh, you never. Towards, I did, I watched it like years ago. I don't. Yeah, I probably didn't know the, China um, then at the time. At the end of the, sh- like towards the end of the show, the she series, yeah. was, um, oh god, uh, the, the cop's girlfriend. Like, okay. She was also a cop. And you know, there was the heavy set, it was Newman. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. funny to see Newman as a cop, <laughs> as a cop, fat cop, technically dating her. This big, this big sample of a woman. <laughs> you know, it just shows you. I mean, she could have done movies. Yeah, they could have done. You know, well, you did she do a, a porn? Whole That's of, a movie. I've seen. Well, she's done a couple of pornos. I've seen a couple of them, and I guess you know, which she's got a penis, right? Is that, that yeah, that is? clitoris looks like a big penis. Looks like, it looks like, like, excuse me, looks like a looks like a big penis. penis. Her big clitoris is like a small penis. And it's probably know. from all this shit you inject, you know? Yeah. The and damage then, you done. And in one of the videos China, um, come back to us, China. <laughs> she's having sex with this other guy named X Pac. Who was Remember part he of was on Surreal Park. Life? Or like that's who she was dating at the time and she was claiming Yeah, she was with him for years. She was claiming he was abused. You know, she was kinda having breakdowns on the show. And saying that and he then, was abusive. And, and then that's you, who she was dating at the time. X Pac who for an average, average guy is X Pac is bigger than. To China, he was a shrimp. Compared really, to China. I guess it shows the psychological that, shit, yeah. that you know this little He's guy. And I'm pretty sure you know in that, complex. in that world, there's roid rage and all this other stuff. You think? Um, but it just shows you that here's a guy who physically is smaller than his girlfriend, but still would be controls that, yeah. and stuff like that. So, um, and he used, to, you know, they were all part of the Generation X. You know, that whole little faction in wrestling. And then, like, now, um, you know, you still have Triple H and Shawn Michaels. And even they even brought out these other two guys, Badass Billy Gunn and um, great Jesse, the Road Dog Jesse James. But they won't have back China and X-Pac. X-Pac. You mm-hmm. know, so it just, being a wrestling fan, it hurts me that, <laughs> that you know, I'm pretty sure maybe 20 years down the line It'll they can probably come back and reconcile. <laughs> yeah. You know, like when we see the old wrestlers now, but right. for the time being, you're not going to see China on see WWE. Him. I wonder what she's doing now. Xbox. I haven't heard much. Yeah, I mean, from her she, and because the, the first she China, did where are you? And actually, I think the one she did with X Pac was just like an official release of one of their just home one videos. of their. Thing. But I saw another porno with her in it where it wasn't X Pac. It was just you know, and because X Pac porno <laughs> is, and I don't want to say average guy because he's not average. He's, he's, he's built and everything. Compared to her, he's not big. Right. And so the other porn artists are, I was saw he big? her in, they got... Like a big, They got dude? big, muscular guys. Someone that's... You know, compared that, to yeah, her it looks bigger. like, you know, it, you know... Who she should be with. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, the guys, the porno that she was with, you know, was a big, muscular guy, a lot taller and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So, you know, it just, it just, you know, people who you admired, or at least, you know, like, I, I was a fan of her career yeah. and fan of X-Pac's career, and it's like... Yeah, down to way to shit toilet. on that, guys. You know, there's yeah. a whole world out there. Even you know, smaller promotions. You know, what I'm saying you could right. You could have done. She could have been in movies. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying you know, come back. Mila Jovovich, who's fucking you know, who's a, a beautiful woman. You know, 
she keeps, you know, she keeps remaking the same movie, but right. she has a career. She's got work. You know what I'm saying? You, can't, you tell me. She's got a paycheck. That China couldn't have an action movie career. Oh, they absolutely. Have a, a, she could have been Tomb Raider. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> you know, but, or have her own series. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, Amazon, the movie. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. You know, Amazon Queen. You know, you could have had a whole she fucking could have been Wonder Woman. Yeah. Or an offshoot of, like, the Scorpion King. You know, there like, you go. Uh, they have the rock and the scorpion, scorpion King, so. queen. Yeah, scorpion queen. Scorpion exactly. bitch. Because they make these <laughs> movies for dirt cheap now. Because there is there is a sequel to the scorpion king that like nobody knows oh, about. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Like I saw like on the red good? box. Yeah. Yeah. And it, yeah, it actually, red box sometimes has some random shit. And you're like, what in the? F- yeah. Who? When did this movie get a sequel? <laughs> and actually, in the movie, Randy Couture, the oh, guy from yeah. MMA, he's like the scorpion king <laughs> oh, in this god. movie. Oh god. You know, when it was, when it was The Rock in yeah. the other movie. Now they got Randy Couture. And, China, know, that could have been China. It could have been China. You know, they had, um, oh, but she was in the other, um, Kelly Hu? I think uh, Kelly Hu. She was, she was in, um, she was in Scorpion King. She was in X-Men 2. Okay. Um, so just, you know, and, well, she was just, she was more of like a swimsuit model. Like she's, okay. you know, I mean, she's a big gal. Hey. But she's, you know, but lean. Yeah, you know, you could put Kelly. I think pretty sure it's Kelly Who. Kelly H U. I think is the last name. You could put Kelly Who and China in a movie together. You know, way to fuck it up. Offshoot, <laughs> offshoot. You know, the Scorpion came yeah. into this whole. You know, trying to clean up. Come back, girl. There's a million people in Hollywood that'll do a script. You know, yeah. what I'm saying I'll write a script for China. Yeah, we'll do it. I mean, I think she's she kind of she China. missed her window. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying, but shit. Clean up your act, girl. We got you. I guess. Oh, let's see what I wrote down here. Jessica Simpson. Mm -hmm. Parents are getting divorced. Wow. Why do you think? Isn't he a minister? Yep. Hmm. Why do you think? I'm, and I'm honestly have no idea about this. He was fooling around. There's, okay, yeah. There's big rumors and. And let me guess, his girlfriend looks like his daughter. Um, his boyfriend. Gay rumors, what? huge gay rumors going around. Holy shit! Yeah, and I guess Ashley's upset about it. You know, but who? I mean, he had an earring. <laughs> um, um, well, I, I mean, he had an earring, but I just chalked that up earring. to him just being trying to corny be cool. old white guy trying to be cool. Yeah, so there's a and lot a of gay minister. rumors going around, and uh, Ashley's upset. Like, why did he stay together so long with the you with know the mom. mom if he knew he was gay? Wow. That's deep. So, yeah. Let's just say allegedly. Alleged, yes, um, allegedly. Wow. Jessica's, Jessica's upset about it, but these are sources saying this. I mean, Jessica's upset about it, but gonna stand by him. Yeah, obviously, well, no, of course. You know? no, but I think Ashley's always, just a little mad. I don't. It always struck me. I don't know. I was always under this. He was a corny kind guy. of like a um, like a Hulk Hogan. Like people accuse Hulk Hogan, where right, like they was always saying like he was kind of like inappropriately. Talk, you know, like, cause remember, he always used to like discuss his daughters and, and, right, like, right. Them, and it was, I, I always thought it was just see, sort of like just, a weird, yeah, that weird relationship. That weird daddy daughter <laughs> relationship. But, um, kind of creepy. yeah, I totally, like, if he was fooling around and, and straight, mm-hmm. I could totally see him being with somebody like Jessica. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, cause um, they had that relationship. Yeah, like, you like, said, like, Hulk Hogan you're the was messing around with a girl that kind of looked like his daughter. Like, identical. Kind of <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but so yeah, there's oh a lot of gay goodness. rumors going around. They're split. That's that's deep. God bless man. America. I mean, <laughs> even though um, I don't know, she should, you know, Ashley should. I don't know. Stand by your dad. I don't know. I mean, come on. I mean, be upset all you want, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I get her point. Like, why'd you put us all this? But you know, maybe, maybe you guys were coming up, and he didn't want his controversy right. to fuck yeah. up your career. He obviously was pushing them into the spotlight. Yeah. So. You know, maybe and I'm sure it wasn't for easy for time. yeah, and I'm sure it wasn't easy for him to live that life. You know, yeah. if you want to be this way, and now you got to put up this front. You know, I don't, it's, well, it's so his life. weird. Like, yeah, it's just you know, crazy. and then you have, but I mean, it blows my mind. Like, you know, I'm totally straight. I can't see if I was going to totally be gay, straight. I would. You know, <laughs> want to live that life. Gay. Yeah, I, you know, unfortunately, think, yeah. honestly, if I was gay, I'd still be me. Right. I'd still be my same you obnoxious just that, self. <laughs> I just would be with a guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Unfortunately, I feel bad, you know, for... Like, for people who feel like they have, they have to live to in the closet it, yeah. and hide just it. because people are ignorant. I guess and... maybe just growing up growing up in New York City or whatever, like, it doesn't 
just come, they're just come out of the closet. Right. The, yeah. You know, I, and that's why I like they're New York kind of City Midwestern, those, I guess. That's yeah. kind of like, I guess if right. you're kind of against, but it's like, they're Texas, I have right? kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, maybe they, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, well, I think there's also just a natural human you probably nature to want to have kids. Yeah, gay or straight, right? You want to want see, kids. you want to see, and especially from little, your, yeah, loins. you want to see your loins. I mean, of course, <laughs> you know, you know uh, there are plenty of deserving kids who need to be right. adopted. But yeah, a lot of people a, like it. Obviously. There's a natural impulse to want to see have a your, lineage. Yeah, you want to look at a little baby and see your eyes. You yeah. Know, yeah. Like, uh, the line continues, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder, uh, it doesn't say he has a boyfriend, so I wonder yeah. who he's been well, hanging out with. And now that he's not with his wife, yeah. we'll see who's open, ladies. <laughs> oh, men or, men, I guess uh, ladies yeah. or whatever you want to refer to. Whoever, yeah. Or, whatever you want to call hey. yourself. Um, real quick, before you get to the next topic, let's <laughs> yeah, take, just take a break for uh, our sponsor. Lick and hit. And we'll be right back. We'll be right back. After a word from our sponsor. Click and Hit, enhancing the experience for all recreational smokers. Click and Hit is a one-handed portable vaporizer. This smoking pipe has a compact four-stage design, complete with a built-in, windproof, butane refillable torch lighter. The large burn chamber holds your stash of legal herb or pipe tobacco. Click the button to ignite and inhale as usual. When you are done, put it back in your pocket for later. Smoke anytime with the touch of a button. No more carrying around grinders and tins. Leave the pipe, rolling papers, and even your lighter at home. The Click and Hit cordless vaporizer is no bigger than a normal cigar, making it the world's smallest and most discreet vaporizer. It's perfect for use in small places or shared rooms. It's efficient, getting five to eight drawers from your packed chamber. It's affordable at just $19.95 each. Buy three and the shipping is free. Buy four and you get the fifth one free. Visit www.click dash the letter n dash hit.com that's click and hit.com and we now return to two strangers one podcast and we're back um click it click it and hit it click dash the letter n dash hit.com i use it i love it it's a very well-made product um i seriously um chris loves that shit i love it it's a it's a <laughs> well-made product i can't coming from me you have to understand that that's you know i'm so critical of other Things. Yeah, you are. And I'm not, you know, and I'm not the person, like, you know, I can make shit work if it doesn't work, but seriously, it's a well-made product, and coming coming from me, I would hope that our audience would understand <laughs> that I'm being, I'm trying my best to be Chris is usually a dick. With you guys. Um, <laughs> no, if Chris it wasn't working, I wouldn't say it, and it works, it, I love it, it's a, you know, I, being a man, being and, a man. you know, <laughs> certain men stand by their things, you right. know what I'm saying, like, you know, you get a good car, you keep that car forever. You get a good pair of boots, you keep those right. boots forever. You know what I'm saying? You know, so you that's get a, nice a guy thing. Jacket. Is that a guy it's thing? It's a guy thing that... Because my dad has, your like... One thing. Yeah, like, the same shoes for, like... Because yeah. I'll get new shoes. He's like, how long did you have those shoes for? I'm like, a year. He's like, these I've had for 20. And I'm like, yeah, it's, give it up, man. Guys kind of bond because I <laughs> guess it's sort of prove. that mentality that you found the right, right. thing. There's a certain a pleasure and pride that comes with, like... This is mine, goddamn it. No, and it's, I say and give it's it never up. gonna break down. That's why in the, <laughs> back when men were men. Here we go. They made cars that lasted. You know, right. I mean, cars from the fifties are now, still driving around in Cuba yeah. right now because. Right. You know, now they're so like well little, made. You they know, like purposely as, need to break as, down. As, as, as men fucking diminished and our cars turn into fucking fiberglass yeah. and plastic. Uh, Stand up, <laughs> men. Stop diminishing. Back when men were men. Back when men were, were men. Cars, and clicking hits were clicking. Yeah. Hits. <laughs> that's that and so yeah so uh, <laughs> back when men were men I like back that back when men were men god damn it yeah now, now we get lawsuits for you know you say what's on your mind and you get fucking sued I know I'm sick know. of that somebody sue me I dare I'm you I'm not I'm not mean <laughs> you're just a fucking sensitive pussy um, yeah <laughs> men were men back when men, men were, were men. men but um with uh like I mentioned earlier Halloween is right around the corner and around this time uh, animal shelters will not adopt black cats. Oh yeah, I've heard that. And I've heard of that. Because right, like they take them they, and then people they and then they there come back have or been people right? who actually will abuse a black cat mm-hmm. on Halloween. And I hate people who just abuse animals in general. Yeah, You're that, a dick. You are a dick. And it's super. You know, it's bad. And I mean, the horribleness of shit like that, but. How fucking superstitious are you? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, why don't you go pray to a fucking rock? You know, like, yeah. um, you know, why would you, what makes one animal 
My brother is a black cat. You know, don't get me wrong. Cats are 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, I have I have a black cat of my oh, own. You do? And I've only seen the one-eyed one. You the black one. and white one. My one-eyed black and I uh, one one-eyed one black eye. and white cat. Um, but yeah, I have a, another black, and he's not sociable. He's an <laughs> asshole. So what do? Because I've heard. Okay. Obviously, you know, there's abuse, of course. Why not? Mm-hmm. But I've heard that, like, they'll adopt them, and then after Halloween, they'll give them back. So it's, like, poison. And there's also that, yeah, like, some people will adopt them. Like, really? Them adopt, it's... Adopted it for the one day? Yeah. I don't... Like, get a life. <laughs> I just don't get it. And I just... And, and I can't believe in this day and age of sophistication and right. internet and cable and 24-hour news that there are people who still think black cats are bad luck. Like... You're what, a loser. What the fuck is wrong You're with a you? loser. So, yeah, just... um it's around that time. I don't know. I saw a um, thing about that online. Or like, you know. Yeah, because I have heard of that. I'm like, people are losers. Yeah. What else? Um, This is kind of random. Just talking about, like, animal rituals and all that mm-hmm. sort of shit. It kind of brought up, when I had to take my EMT course, they wanted us to see, like, the heart. Okay. And see mm-hmm. the valves and all that. So they, of course, would get, um, it was pigs. Mm-hmm. Pig, heart, whatever. But... All the hearts had to be, like, had to have a cut through it. Like, they had to purposely, the manufacturer, not manufacturer, but wherever it the came from, distributed they it. had to, like, every heart had to have a slice through it. And mm-hmm. I was like, well, like, why? Because mm-hmm. that's random. And the teacher's like, well, because some people are sick and will take the heart for ritual use. And if it, so if it's just whole, oh. they'll take it. But once it has a slit through it, they won't. So it's oh, okay. like, how sick, like, we've come to this now. Like, yeah, there's, they um, have to go and, sl- like, put a cut through this heart so that some sick fuck won't take it for <laughs> their own ritual, animalistic thing. And that's... I don't, really? Well, um, <laughs> like, okay. Where I grew up, I mean, like, my mother's mother was into Santeria. Right, Santeria, where they do know? that. And, and Santeria is basically a mixture of voodoo and... And Catholicism. It's uh, yeah. a weird. It's a weird, it's weird a mix, balance. Yeah. It, it keeps uh, Catholic uh, Catholic mythology, but there was a voodoo, a little voodoo out. into it, a little and magic. Then, uh, my other grandmother was more into brujeria, which literally translates into witchery. And Chris, what uh, the fuck? <laughs> well, yeah, I come from I come from a very colorful background. No wonder why you like Halloween. Yeah, that's why I'm so twisted. <laughs> um, but you know, and and this is gonna sound weird. Um, you know, and I have family back in Puerto Rico that live, you know, Campos, the fucking country, mountain, I have mountain people in my family. And it's weird, like, I have family on Puerto Rico that are very rich, mm-hmm. and I have family in Puerto Rico that live in fucking tin shacks. Really? Literal tin, tin shacks. shacks. Um, you know, the, cor- the corrugated, the t- corrugated tin, mm-hmm. their whole house is made out of that. Um. Beautiful. Now, for obviously the, the, the poorer members of my family, they have a farm, or well, they have animals that they raise. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you're going to have that ritualistic belief, if you live that kind of, like, basic, mm-hmm. you're going to get access to a heart anyway. Just right. Just when you slaughter the yeah. animals. Yeah, right. You slaughter and, you know, then and, take it. And Puerto Ricans, and I'm, you know, I can say because it's my Cause people. Because Puerto Rican. Puerto Ricans eat every fucking oh, yeah, part yeah. of the pig. There is, like... They don't let leave anything. They don't, yeah, exactly. I mean, pig's feet, which pig's is, ears, It's which really is gross, similar. but which is... How it kind of should be. Yeah, like, why are like, you going to leave stuff? <laughs> um, it's really gross because we're not used to it. I guess, yeah. like, I'm not used to it. Because there is a Caribbean influence in, like, the southern black culture. Like, was like the slaves. Right. And nowadays, if you want to call, quote, unquote, black food, that's why the slaves eat Soul every food. fucking part of the pig. Because yeah. when you were poor, you, you ate. ate everything. Right. You didn't throw anything out. That's a fucking Which is sin a, in a way. it should be, yeah. And but so, we're just yeah, not used to that just, cuisine. <laughs> you know, slicing the heart. And it's just, I don't know, I guess it's just... I get why they do it, but right. like, I mean, anyone who's living that basically can probably you can get, get a, a heart. heart. <laughs> yeah. Like really, you have to go. And, and I it. believe they say pigs' hearts are very, very close to humans. Yeah, also. that's why they bring those in for us. They are because it, uh, did, didn't somebody get a heart transplant with a pig's heart? Oh, I'm sure, and I feel like cows I'm like 99 percent sure that. A yeah, pig's I, heart, I think I've heard that, and I know they also say like um they they look when we had to look at it, it looks mm-hmm. I, almost identical. And I'm a big, big fan of the show Mythbusters. And oh, yeah. whenever they need, um, whenever they're doing something that would be like, uh, some, they need, cause they generally have their, their, their little crash test dummy buster. Yeah. And then when anything comes to guns, they use this thing called ballistic gel, which okay. the ballistic gel is always, um, they say it's the same consistency as skin. When okay. you get it to the right 
consistency. Yeah. Because whenever they need to shoot a bullet at something, that's what they but use. Sometimes for just a real world amalgam or whatever you want to use, um, get it, the cheapest, quickest, easiest thing is just to get a pig corpse. Yeah, you know, you know it's so. Like easy we had to, to look at the lungs up. too, and they were like huge. I like. I was <laughs> like, "This isn't a pig." But yeah, it's like human, like the size. That's why they mostly use it for you know, like anatomy classes or something. Yeah, it's just because it's so. They're unfortunately we're, we're like pigs. very. Yeah, we're <laughs> very sim, and especially the Americans. I'm right. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, they say um, there was a pig heart transplant. Yeah, there, it's on the horizon. It's becoming genetically engineered pigs could help um, do a lot of pig. Yeah, you know, heart transplants. For humans. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it is happening. We slaughtered them for fucking bacon, for Christ's sake. No, the hearts are very similar. (laughs) Yeah. Oscar Meyer could fucking slaughter hearts. I'm pretty sure, you know. Um, But they had, I remember on on Mythbusters, they did one where it was a um, metal rope, like the kind of metal ropes for bridges and stuff like that, where it's kind of like twined. Yeah. Where if it snapped, that it would rip a body in half. I believe it. A human body. So... You know, they had, of course, put all this protection around, and they had this poor pig, and they have it strapped up. It just, it looks like something out of a fucking saw. Right, yeah. And so they're purposely trying to recreate Is it alive? No, no, no. Oh, my God. That would have been horrible. Oh, boy, would they have gotten letters. Um... (laughs) <laughs> that's oh my god that's, that's, a, that's a whole nother whole nother level I would I mean, cry what's the difference between slitting its throat you know right. it, was, it probably was alive because it was still fresh so it was probably yeah. was alive the day before but, yeah not too long ago you know, you know I, I, I like to eat food I don't like to see where it came but from but I like bacon too <laughs> yeah. so there's a fine line there's, I like to eat it I don't want to see where it came from what it looked like nothing <laughs> yeah there is a big huge gray area Did where it, animals have rights but <laughs> I want I need to eat steak. unless you're it's a tasty animal Life. <laughs> it's and and this, was, this this pig was sacrificed in the name of science. Okay, yeah. Um, so did it slice So they up. kept trying to recreate the whipping of yeah. this metal thing. And I guess the myth was busted because it now it did huge lacerations. But it didn't go But between ahead. the bone and gristle and everything oh, like that. I would think it would go right through. They couldn't recreate fully going through. I mean, they damaged the fuck right. out of the pig, but... You wouldn't um, survive. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It would kill you instantly because it would but cut not, so uh, deep and it yeah, would be a oof. unfixable gash in your body. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much organs spilling out. Yeah. Um Now, they, I guess they did, not too long ago on Mythbusters, they did Titanic. <laughs> the, um... To see if Jack could survive, if Jack oh, could... on the door, yeah, yeah, I think I'm I'm the the I, I just read it. I didn't actually watch it, and then mm-hmm. it came to the fact where yeah, there was enough he room. He could have been on he the could door. Have, he could have been on the door. He could have lived. And James Cameron, you know, respond. I guess he was there on the mm-hmm. episode, and he's like, "That doesn't matter. It wouldn't have changed the outcome. He was gonna die. That's in the story." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Even if he could survive, yes. we would have killed him some way." Yeah, well, yeah, yeah Rose, you fat bitch. Roll over, <laughs> move over. Let somebody else on there. Yeah, at the very least, we both. Die. How, I that's, know. That's more yeah, you get in the water. Yeah, we both <laughs> cling on to this motherfucker. God, it was a huge door. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. poor little Jack. Yeah, he could have lived. <laughs> oh, Johnny, paint me like your French girls. Um, okay, as we're recording this, um, the World Series is going on. Oh yeah. Game one was last night. Mm-hmm. At How'd Detroit they do? I haven't. Tiger. Um, I believe the Tigers. Oh no, excuse me. The Giants beat the Tigers. It's the San Francisco Giants, Giants versus and... the Detroit Tigers. And I love it how, I mean, even though we're upstate New York. Yeah. Um, I mean, upstate, pretty much the only baseball team for people up here is the Yankees. Yeah. You know, in New York City, all it's of that, my friends are Mets. I was going to say, they got that nice rival. And, it's um, fun down there to be... When you're like when I was down there, like it's fun to be like a baseball fan at that time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really care. And when they <laughs> had the Subway Series, when yeah, the like that's the Mets. fun. Like up here, there you can a, root for the team, but it's like mm. yeah, up here. I mean, in my experience, it's been pretty much predominantly Yankee. Oh yeah, yeah. Here. Um, but it's more fun when you're close to the stadiums, you know, well, yeah. and they got the Subway Series, and it's, I don't know, it's just a better atmosphere. It was yeah. fun. To, it was fun to be a baseball fan down there. And I remember, I mean, growing up as a kid. I went to so many Yankee games because um, in the summertime, if you they had... They used to have, like, different events, right? Well, they had... Like, I've been to, like, some Mets games because they had, like, I don't know, like, cheap seats for... Yeah, like, for I, don't know, I don't know if it was... Um, 
I don't know if it's a New York thing, but I mean, it actually had on. Um, if you brought a Coca Cola can, yeah, like things like that, the, the seats were five bucks. Yeah, and of course you're in the nosebleed seats, right, but it's and they couldn't something to give do those fucking it's... seats away. <laughs> but um, something to do, you go, you have fun. And when you're in the upper deck or whatever you want to call it, there's actually that overhang. There's like yeah, an yeah. overhang over you. So I went to so many games as a kid that. I went to games where it rained. Mm-hmm, and you so wouldn't even get wet. We right? were safe because we were <laughs> and on you were laughing overhang. at everyone else. <laughs> and all the people in the quote-unquote good seats you know, had to pull out their ponchos and stuff like that. Stupid um, bastards. Like, when I was a kid, I took it for granted because, um, you know, I went at least once a summer. Yeah. Like, with my camp. I used to be part of, like, this little camp group. Sleepaway camp. Um, my god sister took us to a, a couple of games and... And it's just something to do, and it was fun, you know? Yeah, it's something, you know, like, you know, going to a Yankee game, and like I said, it was, like, literally five bucks a seat. And so I hate so... watching baseball, and yeah. I found it fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's an event when you go, because now you're invested in the, um... Right. In the, uh, in the game. But what I like, I mean, up here, like I said, we're pre- pretty much Yankee fans. Yeah. I've seen Yankee fans up here when it comes to baseball. Seeing that it's San Francisco versus Detroit, nobody, nobody. gives a fuck. Yeah. It's, it's I haven't heard anybody series. talk about it. Nothing. I only know I, about it because it's on the news. I was going to say, the news I actually, switches over to the sports yeah, yeah. segment. Other than that. I actually forgot about it. And then, like, suddenly on the news, they're like, and we're about to begin. And I was like, that's still going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I thought, okay. Because the Yankees, uh, not too long ago, were playing in the playoffs. Yeah, they were close to uh, yeah. Because um, um, we were out at the bar and. I didn't even know people were really watching. The, like, there's, you know, screens around. I didn't really realize anybody was watching the game. Suddenly, I don't know, something happened with the Yankees. They ended up winning, and everybody's cheering. And I'm like, oh, there's a game <laughs> going. I didn't realize people were out for the game. But then the Yankees blew it, so. Yeah. And I understand. <laughs> that was short-lived. I totally, like I said, I mean, my family are Yankee fans. Yeah. My friends are Mets fans, right. so I'm stuck in the middle. That's and funny. I understand how easy it is to hate the Yankees because oh, yeah. they're spoiled and they're overpaid and, and, you know, it is easy to build a championship team when you have, when like, you have the unlimited funds. amount of money. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, when you're paying $8 for a fucking cup of beer. Have you been to the new state. stadium? I went to the new stadium only for the Metallica concert. Oh, right, right. Yeah, it was the Metallica I've heard Slayer for the Anthrax concert. That's a cool concert. I remember yeah. you telling me about that. Um, I've heard it's gorgeous. Oh, for, it's for games. Yeah. Let me tell you. Um, like I said, I went for it was called the Big Four concert: yeah. Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, Anthrax. There are lounges in there. Yeah, I've heard bars. Real there was nice. A, like, um, and like, the like, screen's like huge, isn't it? Well, screens all over the place. Oh, you know, like, like, you know, like the main one, like kind of on the field. You know. Oh, the uh, jumbo Yeah, whatever. whatever. I heard that's like people like when they're at the game, they rather look at that. You, than yeah, the you game. And, and it's the same thing when you go to concerts. You know, yeah, usually you concerts kinda, always have like the screens mm-hmm. on both sides of the stage. You end up watching the You're screen. Like, oh yeah, I could do this at home. I pay all this money to sit in the seat. <laughs> I do not for nothing. The seats were fucking tiny. I understand oh, yeah. they're trying to um, squeeze Fit, people yeah. in, and maybe maybe. Uh, Things might be different closer to the field, yeah. but I doubt it. You know, they're going to eke in every fucking every person. inch they can. Yeah, I've heard because, it's real nice. Um, I, had, I went with my baby mama. Um, we went to the concert, and, like, I was uncomfortable by the end of the yeah. night because the seats were so... Now, when Metallica came on, yeah, of course you're I was up. on my feet. <laughs> yeah. um, and it is it is funny when you go to a concert, and um, if I had more money, I would have been down on the field because yeah, I yeah. had people on the field. But, like, I was standing up during Metallica. Right. And then there's kind of, like, it's a weird thing because people are mad that you're standing up. But, you know, <laughs> and I can, and, like, Metallica's the headliner. Uh-huh. Everybody is there to see Metallica. Yeah. Well, I mean, yes. You people, stand up. You got so much. You're so yeah, excited. I'm stand, I'm you're not, not sitting. Why am, now, I understand if I was standing. If, I know I know how annoying it is for someone sitting behind me if they want to sit. Right. Because I'm standing up and I'm blocking the, see, yeah. the field. But I don't know. The, I'm... Metallica's on. If I had the money, I would be down on yeah, the field. And I want to fucking stand. You know, so it's like, I understand both sides of the yeah. argument. You know, I understand if you want to sit. And trust me, being an older guy, like, when you go into a pit, you know, yeah, yeah. You know a mosh pit. Throwing everybody around. You know, you get smacked around, you realize how old you are, or at least how old I am. And I'm not limping. I'm not, I'm not at that, I'm not at that level anymore. And there's saying, you know, older people who love Metallica, who just want to sit right, and watch and the just show. Enjoy. But then there's other part. It's fucking Metallica. Metallica. I'm gonna fucking I'm up. stand up. I'm rocking <laughs> out. I'm going fucking crazy. So 
the seats were small. Ugh. But like, okay, when you go in, like, I'll give you like just a real quick, um, breakdown. Okay, you, I went in, then like, as soon as I walked in, like to the right, there's this big, very, very fancy, nice, a bar. For all yeah. purposes, a bar. Yeah. Like, I think, I don't know if they do, do this, but it can be opened as a bar as with a bar nothing without, going okay. on in the stadium. You I know, wonder if they do do that, or maybe it's were, just strictly for events. I mean, I'm talking about there's bouncers at the door. You're already inside the stadium, <laughs> but the place right. has crowd bouncers. control. Um, and, of course, like I mentioned in the other episode, there there were police officers there, it being a New York public event. Yeah, I mean, yeah. guys with, like, the heavy artillery right. machine guns and stuff Don't like that. <laughs> I'm not yeah. going to fuck around. And they have, you know, the, the packet on the side of their leg that holds the gas mask in case, That's you know, crazy. shit pops yeah. off. So it is kind of weird to see... Um, that kind of heavy police Security. presence. But then again, in this day and age, I'm glad to see right. that kind of police presence. Um, so, you know, then you go upstairs and there are lounges. There's a, oh man, I forgot the name of the sponsor. Let's just say, um, I'm going to, let's just throw it there. I'm going to say Miller Lite. Okay. But there okay. is a Miller Lite bar. Wow. You know. I like that. That's the thing, like the whole bar is sponsored by Miller Lite. Their logos all over the place. And I, once again, I'm saying Miller Lite only because I can't right, think of, think it of might be Miller Lite. Yeah, but I mean, either. this thing, you can go in there and sit and there's screens all over the place. You don't have to go to your seat. Oh, so you didn't have to sit in your tiny seat. I didn't have to sit in my tiny seat. <laughs> and so on top of the fact that there's a stadium. Right. And mind you, that was just one of the bars and lounges. There are like all over full the place, blown right? Mall stores in the in the. It's like a whole other world outside the stadium. Yeah, it's like it's like going into a mall that Mm. a stadium just happens to be in the middle of the mall. It's like the stadium. It's like the stadium is a second thought. Oh, by the way, we'll put a stadium in here. There's a game going on. Here's here's a whole mall you can walk through with bars all over the place. Ah, you know. Yeah, and then you know. I guess if the weather is bad, you can go down to the Miller Lite Lounge. I'll be down here. (laughs) It's raining. I'm getting myself with a Miller Lite. So it's just it. It blows it's a whole my other mind. world, yeah. Um, it's like the mecca of stadiums, yeah. <laughs> that it is on top of, you know, it's, like I said, almost like a joke. It's almost like the baseball is secondary. Right. Oh, by the way, there's, there's a stadium. over there, yeah. <laughs> so it's just. If you want to catch a game or an event, you can go in there. Yeah, it's a monument to com- uh, consumer. Yeah, I've heard, I've just heard <laughs> good things about it. It is gorgeous. Yeah, because uh, my only complaint Lounges, was the yeah, fucking the seats, seats tiny. Yeah. You know, I guess, you know, and I'm, I mean, I'm a big guy, but. You know, I'm an America's average American. pretty obese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, America. You know, we should uh, think about that. Yeah, I when mean, maybe the seats are and um, and you can see the sky boxes. You can see like the yeah, big yeah. corporate. You know, and those looked gorgeous. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they're fucking. If like if Joe Blow six pack could enjoy yeah. the luxuries, I can only imagine what the sky boxes. They probably come with their own fucking strippers and hookers and stuff and cocaine and. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> Enjoy. I can only imagine. <laughs> it's, it's a whole other world And, you know, there. you go to those things and it's like the people in the sky boxes really don't care that there's a baseball, oh, yeah, they're not, a baseball game going it's on. About the, it's about the box. Or a concert <laughs> yeah. or anything like that. That's why I love, like, and as much as I love Chelsea Handler, she was talking about, like, how she goes to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's the only hint. She's like, and I hate it. <laughs> and I hate it. And, you know, and there are people who live, die, yeah. eat and breathe football. Right. That would give their left nut to go to the fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> that, they're never going to go to a Super Bowl ever in their life. Right. And, and she gets Chelsea Handler is just... Like, and as much as I love Chelsea yeah, Handler, I'm just she, saying is that like, oh, the go celebrities home. that go, like... Just to, eh, just just to be event. there, yeah. She she hates sports. There was, yeah. I guess she's like I've watched two baseball games. I forget the other one who the team was and somebody she got was injured. Someone with A Rod was flirting with the girls or something. I mean, was no, she no, just no. watched it on TV. I don't think she went. Oh, but she's only watched two games this year or whatever. Mm-hmm. I forget the other one. Some team where a guy got injured and then she's like, mm-hmm. and then I watched the Yankee game and Jeter broke his ankle. She's <laughs> like, clearly I'm a jinx. <laughs> so it's my fault. And they were, um, they were. I believe it was A Rod where they were talking yeah, about he was was like, flirting with girls. That he, he was tossed throwing the ball the, to them, encouraged them to write their the number numbers on the ball. Which is genius. I and, do it. <laughs> right, and it's like, now, I had a friend, I had a couple of friends that were security guards. In, and they wrote um, their number on the ball? Stadium. No, no. <laughs> and, you know. They got a ball from me, Rod? They don't, why do you, don't? they don't have to flirt out in the open. There yeah. are enough women throwing them yeah, yeah. at him that, you know, they would have gotten to him eventually. Right. You know, he didn't they have to be doing yeah. that in front of a crowd. <laughs> I know, you're just sitting there, like... <laughs> 
There's yeah. a game going on, that's first bold. of all. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's pimp. You just don't give a shit at this point. <laughs> what, what am I... I need... What do I... I gotta have something to throw out to the girls for... A know. song. I gotta... <laughs> <laughs> Write your number on this. Edible like, panties. Two strangers, one podcast sticker or something. Yeah, like where's that, your or... thong? Where's need... your... You got well, your it's, it's, Spider-Man I have, thong. like, laundry bags around here. I gotta... Laundry bags what could you throw out? Yeah, I got stickers. But I Click need to like throw back. <laughs> Click and hit. Chalk that at you. That would hurt. I got to tape like um. Well, no, because well, I guess if I wrote my number on a click and hit, you <laughs> threw it to them. <laughs> Call me. And I got to put Please. my. I got to use you know like that those silver markers. Like yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> and write my cell phone number on him and then toss it to the girls. Like, and just my luck, I'll fuck up and then like some other girl gets in. Like, yeah, oh, you're no, like, oh, give it back to her. Give it to the girl next to you. you. <laughs> give it to the girl next to you. Because of course, on top of the hot girls throwing themselves at him, I'm pretty sure there's some beast. Oh, yeah. I love you, Rock. <laughs> Come here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so good the... luck, hey, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it's the there, Giants man. versus the Tigers. <laughs> so yeah, and like I said, I understand it sounds obnoxious coming from some someone from New York, but we really don't care. Here. I honestly and haven't I was, heard about it until, and, and I'm sure when the Yankees are playing, people in other right. parts of the country don't yeah, give a like, shit right. either. Um, but it's probably going big in Detroit and yeah, uh, where's Giants? The Giants is San, San Francisco. San Francisco, yeah, probably... I believe. They might have no, was this, Giants are from some other state, and then they moved to San Francisco. Uh, I think there was York. something. I, think, I don't know. Was it the Brooklyn Giants? No, the Brooklyn Dodgers. Dodgers. No, no, no. I don't know, everybody's um, always changing. Yeah, I'm all. <laughs> um, let me see. Do you got any any other breaking news for us? Or? Breaking news. It is suggested. <laughs> this just in. Um, it is rumored. So mm-hmm. allegedly. Kim Ye is back in the news. You love uh-huh. talking about Kim Ye. Kim Kardashian and Kanye are supposedly talking to a wedding planner. Fifty, oh, excuse me, five hundred thousand to pay this wedding planner, and the wedding could be up to twenty million. So what a waste of money if this is true. Okay, she, just have it on the she beach. Just got divorced. I think a they're still months ago? maybe probably about is a it, year it's now. It's October right now. Has yeah. It been a year? Maybe I feel like it was last year. Okay, right. Either who, who way, the, either way, I I don't even think because remember they were like going through like a trial, like he mm. was suing whatever. Uh huh. The ex, I don't even think that's over with. I think oh that is God. still going on. Like to use the old term, the ink isn't even dry. Yeah. On the um, contract and this would be your order. third marriage if you are going in on this. I mean, really, you think you got to spend that much money on your third? Just have it on the beach, your families. It's not even, you know. And maybe you should slow it down. Maybe you should. I think Kim Kim Kardashian getting married is now becoming like a yearly event. Uh, Yeah, like like what are we going to do this year? Or like like the World Series. Yeah, it's the World Series for people who don't care about the World Series. (laughs) Who's going? Who's she going to pick this year? I mean, the men are all geared up for (laughs) the uh, World Series, and and. All their wives are geared up for, for the, uh, uh, what was Kim the, Kardashian's wedding. What was the wedding called? Oh, they called it something when they had uh, Her him, with the um, that tall ass dude. What was his name? See, Chris? I've already forgot his name. <laughs> yeah, it was Chris. Uh, Chris. Uh, I just know Chris because that's yeah. my name. Um, um, what was oh his God. name? Have you seen? Have you seen when they goofed on it and sent on Saturday? Yes, Live? and it's awesome. <laughs> and they have. Uh, it was awesome. The Humphreys, from, Chris Humphreys. Chris Humphreys. Uh, on e. yeah. <laughs> and they were some Bruce Jenner's um, <laughs> facial surgery, yeah. whatever. The, and they had um, Botox. I don't know if it was this. No, I think it was just another spoof that they were doing. I don't know if it was the same one with the wedding, mm-hmm. but they were doing the three sisters. The sisters, and then, yeah, they did. They did the sisters a lot last. Yeah, year. and um, uh, played Chris Jenner. Oh, I forgot. What's the guy, her name? The, uh, oh, Chris. Chris oh, um, uh, Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig. And she yeah. pops, like, the three sisters are there, and she pops up, she's like, four sisters. Yeah, <laughs> was that was the same one as the, the, um, wedding one? the wedding one. Yeah, yeah. it was, I died. Because I saw the clip the other day, I was yeah. going to forward oh it to my you, God. I'm pretty sure you already saw it. Oh, already. I saw it. Yeah, I was dying. Like, four sisters. Four sisters. Like, and then at the end, they're, like, doing all these spin-offs for E, like, Naomi, yeah. they're like, Bruce and Bro- Brody take, or Bruce and Chloe take vitamins. Like, yeah. Something random. <laughs> It was, like, it was, uh, it was funny. Courtney's baby to yeah. Miami. <laughs> like it was just, it was a perfect SNL skit. That yeah. one was. Um, Holy, oh, us, he, yeah. he can't even move his mouth. That was. <laughs> and uh, Chris Humphreys was played by what's his name? Oh, uh, uh, you know the one that does all the songs. Hot Rod. Um, 
Oh, and that's he's, my boy, whatever the fuck is And he goes to sign, and he's like, <laughs> He puts an X next to it. <laughs> Four sisters. <laughs> it was awesome. It yeah, was great. Cool. Now, have this is what I heard. What? Chris what Jenner has contacted Honey Boo Boo and her mom because Chris Jenner wants to be their manager. For reals? I, I have heard that. that for reals, and I'm not even... Um, I like how we do for reals. For real. <laughs> well, you said it's either the... I, know, I, like, uh, I like that you did it back. Um, wow, that's yeah. gross. <laughs> I, like, I can see her... You know, perfect can, person for exploiting yeah. the family. Now we're going to branch one. off. Yeah, because... It uh, wouldn't... Doesn't surprise me in the least. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's funny, like, bef- you mentioned that a couple episodes ago, that, that she's kind of... You know, the mom, uh, June, yeah. from Honey Boo Boo, is kind of like the a new Chris Jenner, yeah, yeah, yeah. but now but here's Chris Jenner. Hillbilly style. Oh my god, that's Cash like a on that. superpower. That's like, you know, like... Forces combined. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's the perfect storm. Yeah. When a low pressure storm and a high pressure storm meet each other, it becomes like this perfect storm, you know, tornado. There it's it gonna is. Just, Destroy everything Talk about in the path. apocalypse. I mean, <laughs> this, this is it. This is it. This is what the Mayans predicted, people. <laughs> When the boo boos hook up with the Kardashians. Even, people thought like the world was gonna end because of meteor, blah blah blah, all this other shit. It was Chris Jenner yeah, in a, June. We're gonna destroy ourselves. Yeah. There's no meteor. Happening. There's the, yeah. the, the there's crust no of the way. earth yeah. isn't cracking. It's uh, June's neck crust that is gonna <laughs> take us down. Oh, oh yeah, it wouldn't God. surprise me if she. She's oh. just a. <laughs> Eh, fucking the seventh seals are gonna break off the, <laughs> the ancient books. And oh my god! It's just the world's just gonna explode. Demons are rising. Like once they sign the deal, <laughs> it's gonna be in blood. <laughs> yeah. Flames this are gonna be rising it. from the signature. <laughs> it's gonna be like four the sisters. Of, <laughs> the end of um, the devil's advocate. Like, yeah, ah! this is it. Angels are screaming and fires oh. torturing souls. Well, thank you, Chris Jenner. Of hell. <laughs> Who would it's have like thought? Perfect demonic and union. So Kimye's got to get married soon if it's going to be the end of so, the world. Technically, <laughs> like you know, if they do become business associates, you can see Honey Boo Boo at Kimye's wedding. Oh yeah, it's probably be the flower girl. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Honey Boo Boo like she's like throwing up halfway down. The yeah, aisle, I mean, like, like fuck, fuck this, this. <laughs> cheese balls, like <laughs> throw cheese balls, throw cheese balls <laughs> instead of flowers. Like oh, I'm over God. this. Mama and just June dropping the, the basket halfway through yeah, and just like, walking off to the side. Fuck this shit. I guess she was uh, doing another interview with Dr. Drew and fell asleep midway through. Honey Boo Boo. She's not doing good with these interviews. Well, I think she... Because uh, like, she was so hyper asleep. earlier. Yeah. <laughs> that she probably, probably crashed. just crashed. Yeah. <laughs> she had her go-go juice. That go-go juice, <laughs> you know. The go-go juice doesn't you get last a good, forever. <laughs> you get a good high and then boom. And then you crash. You go up and then you go down. So she, uh, Chris Jenner might want to help her out with interviews. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, no, there'll be, there'll there's be no honey, real. Boo-boo. There'll be go go juice. Oh, oh. Yeah, you love that shit. Well, I mean, you know, if they made go go juice, if they made pimp juice, yeah, an energy drink called pimp juice. What what's it? not to say that some energy company, some energy go-go drink juice. company, absolutely, because go go juice, to the best of my knowledge, isn't copyrighted anywhere. At least yeah. not yet. Yeah, trademarked you know. or anything. <laughs> um, what was it on? Booty sweat. <laughs> booty that? sweat, yeah. From, that still um, grosses me Tropical out. thunder. Like, and sweat. I got, and I brought my booty sweat with me. <laughs> They're like supposed to be in like Vietnam or whatever. Yeah, that's. <laughs> booty sweat. And not it's a perfect entirely out of, of the realm Yeah, it's a of perfect reality. pun of what is going on with these energy drinks. And I remember, there was. Booty sweat. <laughs> there so was. Gross. Um, a legitimate company that <laughs> was. The, the first and foremost, the company called itself Omni Consumer Products, which was from um, RoboCop. Okay. In RoboCop, there was like, because in the movie RoboCop, uh, there is this all-encompassing conglomerate called okay. Omni Consumer Products. Like, they made soap and shampoo, and they're also the same people who made RoboCop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you know, they're involved in everything. everything. And so um, there was this little, I don't think they exist anymore. Maybe they do online company where they sold they were trying to sell products that you would see in movies okay as legitimate products yeah so they sold sex panther nice. from anchorman anchorman and when it comes out it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome and, and they also sold brondo from idiocracy oh, oh that was the, yeah and you know all the drinking fountain you know i go to um you know, I, I, I'm cheap. I go to the dollar store all the time. And there's all these, um, 
bogus uh, Gatorades. Yeah, yeah. You I, know, and it's like whatever they're rip called. it yeah. and and um, there's so much crap out there. They have rip it's the new one, but they know there was another one that was kind of like on on Gatorade's heels, but it kind of then it fell off. But I mean, the bottles will look like Gatorade, yeah, same yeah. colors, it's all the same, same label, thing, but you know, like that one little something difference. else. Yeah. And it's and you would find it in the dollar store where mm, Gatorade is like two dollars and fifty cents, and they find that in a dollar store. So you know, all you got to do is take some shitty, um, you know, well, like for go go juice, all you got to do is take a shitty energy drink, call yeah. it go go juice. You know, take all the pimp juice that wasn't sold, yeah. <laughs> call Put it go go juice. juice. Sell at the dollar store, you'd be straight. Put Chris Jenner and Honey Boo Boo's face on there. <laughs> yeah, and actually, I think Rip It also owns Energy Drink. Also, like Rip, there's one called Rip It Energy, and then I saw their mm-hmm. Gatorade knockoff, just called like Rip It. I forgot what it was called, but yeah, I'm not I'm drinking something it. called Rip It. Rip It. It just <laughs> sounds like, sounds like I'm go- yeah, I'm just gonna be gassy gonna after this. Gas. <laughs> Rip It. <laughs> Rip It. And so, yeah. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get our own we need drink. An endorsement deal. We need. I'll contact Chris. Two strangers. Um, what should we have? Energy drink. One energy drink. <laughs> get all the power of booty sweat. Well, I mean, we are pretty high energy, so like you know, we're crazy. We're crazy over we here. We drink two energy, two strangers ah! before an episode. <laughs> it's got electrolytes. And then we pass out when we're done recording. <laughs> you crash. You crash. Honey- you're being interviewed by Doctor Drew. Yeah, Honey Boo Boo style. <laughs> honey boo boo style. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Dollar make, make me holla. holla. Honey boo boo hey, style. Hey, hey. <laughs> Trade <Drink> market. <laughs> finishing off where we started. We, are, right? yes. we are. We brought it full circle. We back it to Gangnam. Full Gangnam. circle. Back to Gangnam style. Still so drinking the coffee. We are over the hour mark. Um, what? Yeah. So I'm going to take a shot of my two strangers, one energy drink. <laughs> And uh, oh, it's we have to make up our own combination. It can't be Red Bull and ginger yeah. and uh, we'll just, Mountain Dew. We got to do. We'll our just add a whole bunch of sodas to it. Remember, we'll like put Monster. We'll put. Remember Jolt Cola. Yeah. What happened to? I mean, Joe Cola was the shit before Red Bull. And yeah, I don't know what only, happened. Like, they would and now first you couldn't it's buy like it Mr. in New Pib. York City. Yeah. <laughs> and then like finally like what one bodega like on Avenue yeah, yeah, was like everybody, the one place that sold. Everybody it. stormed the and gates. We would go to it, and I, you know, I remember. Jolt they probably like looked into it. Was like, this is way too much caffeine. <laughs> Should I forget? Well, the then Red Bull came explode. and not you know Red Bull came and right. made it because Jolt Cola was like, and they goofed on it in um, Simpsons. They called it Buzz Cola, <laughs> and you know uh, there was like there was a time where that was the shit. I remember Jolt, yeah. and then Red Bull came and just made it mainstream. Yeah, you know, like, just took it out. It had a different know, can. We're gonna make it smaller, different look. make it less, charge you more. Right, and now they have. And it gives you wings. Yeah, now, now they're jumping and now they're skydiving in yeah. space. Better than NASA. Yeah. And you know, and the two, you know, Red Bull got that thing up in outer space and I think Red Bull's working on like more stuff that's going to go up in outer space. Then you Red got Bull's Virgin, At- Virgin Atlantic. Oh, they're on their own level. They're making commercial flights where you can where go it's in like, like a lounge and, you know, to the, um, curvature of the earth. Like yeah. you're just, you're barely not going into outer space, but you're like, so crazy. You're still within the atmosphere. You know, I don't know if I could handle and that. And it's crazy that private corporations are doing oh, yeah, Virgin's this. You know, doing it's going to be, yeah. you know, um, stealing a line from Fight Club. You know, there is going to be the Starbucks International Space Station. You know, it's like that's what they're going to... NASA is going to need to get money from corporations. Mm-hmm. Where it's going to be the Sprint satellite. You know, like yeah. the, the, you know, the Sprint dome, you know. <laughs> you know, so... Um, I don't know. It's It's fascinating and scary at the same time. Please visit <laughs> www.twostrangersonepodcast.com where you can find the links for everything show related. First and foremost, you can visit our eBay page. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be out of town for the first, so I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do when it comes to. I'll probably put some stuff on auction just to um pay for the trip. <laughs> pay for the trip. Yeah, that's a you know we're that's gonna be a lot of gas. Um, you know. Uh, but I'm selling right now. I'm pretty much have all DVDs, but I'm you know soon I'll be putting my comic book back, comic books back up, heavy metal related stuff. I mean, I've, I have a bunch of Metallica stuff. You know, I've I've sold some of my vinyls. Um, I got other kind of rare things. I kind of like old Metallica stickers, like from concerts and K Rock back in New York City. I got some rare stuff. I'm gonna put up there. Um, I like right now I'm selling a bunch of DVDs. I mean, it's right around Halloween. I got a whole bunch of horror movies. Um, comedies, sci-fi, comic book related movies, heavy metal related movies. 
Um, so just give it a shot. All the money goes to support the show. Even if you don't want it, just buy it. Give it to a nerd. Throw it in the garbage when you get it. I don't care what you do. Give it. Put it up on free cycle. I don't care. Um, resell it on eBay. Uh, but the money that you get support all the money that um, all the money goes back into the show. You know, there's production. There's paying for the hosting site. There's advertising, and you know, it's just you know we're giving you two hours a week of entertainment. You have right now we're past fifty hours, or you know, this is like you know. You can listen to two hour, two days straight of Two Strangers One podcast and not hit a repeat. Um, and if you do want to listen to every episode, I know we're, we're, we are getting a lot of new likes and we're getting a lot yeah. of new followers. I mean, Thank I've you. been spamming the hell out of everybody, but we've been getting a good response. And for the, you know, and actually in the past week or so, I haven't got any negative. Which is fantastic. You know, it's funny how like, you focus the on negative. a negative. I know. There's all these good, and then Chris gets one negative. And, and it kind of ruins, ruins your day. day. It, it makes it puts me in a funk for the rest of the day. Now I understand how celebrities feel. Yeah, right? Now people are like, <laughs> throwing throwing bricks in our window. Um, <laughs> but for the, uh, the people that have been liking us, and we have been getting a lot of... Um, we're all over the place. I got to tell you, the, the middle America, Wichita, I mean, I know yeah, the, the website kind of gathers it all up and puts it in Wichita, so Kansas. Wichita and surrounding areas. They Pretty are, much. like, our number one... They're now beating Middle Buffalo. America, baby! You know, the dead center. <laughs> so, I mean, I would love if if you guys are listening to the show, and, I mean, we're getting a lot of downloads from that part of the country. Mm-hmm. Contact us on Facebook. I would love to know exactly what cities yeah. are... I mean, it's unfortunately, our site is rounding it all up to Wichita, Kansas. Right. But please get in contact with us. I would love to know what parts of the country because um, I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated that we're getting all these um, downloads in the middle of the country. And like um, we have our friends living lame on the west, west coast. coast. You know, I go on Google Maps. I look up, you know, Red Bluff, and I'm like, yeah. you know, like oh, how, you know, how close is it to San Francisco? How close? And it, and trust me, Red Bluff is out. It's, it's out there, right? Yeah. If you want to visit San Diego, San Francisco, forget about Los Angeles. It's like an eight hour drive. Um, but I'm fascinated, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, we live in a little fishbowl up here in upstate New York. I would love to know more about the country. And I like, this show is reaching out to them. I would love to get some <laughs> feedback. And I, you know, I just want to know where you're from or tell just me a little your bit about, address. You know, um, it, it's fascinating to me. So Wichita, I mean, it's, it's rounding it all up to Wichita. Cause like I said, even by us, we're in Rochester, Buffalo is an hour away, and the website only tells us that it's going through Buffalo. And when zero that's not and the case. <laughs> You know, like our friends. Um, did your sister like our page? I think your sister liked our page, or somebody. Oh, it's, uh, somebody with the same last name as you. Liked yeah, our it's page. a. Um, I don't know if it's a cousin it's or a sister or something. Okay. What's the first name? Um, shoot. I just know the last name was yours. Yeah, name. I mean, there's only so it's many of us, sister. so. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so hi, we even get, <laughs> we um, get family members. Yeah. My family and, supports us. You know, and I don't, you know, I try not to, I don't like flat out solicit my friends to like our page, but I do post every time. And, you know, my friends are giving me good feedback and, and, like, we're blowing up. Like, I, I like that we're, we're taking getting. taking over the world. We're Chris. getting our footing before we get that full official pull, push uh, yeah, from, from, Smodco. from Smodco's morning show. And we're know, excited. Our audience is so freaking awesome. Yes, um, we greatly appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate that. And, really you know, talk. for all the new people joining the party, Welcome. if you want to listen to the old episodes, there's two ways. Well, uh, well, you can, okay, let me just, <laughs> Chris, do you, you can download <laughs> every episode of Two Strangers, One Podcast at our website, two strangers, one podcast.com. Um, and I think that's more for the people, if you have a mobile device, but you don't want to waste your data, you know, like you're on the road, just download the episodes to your, you know, even if you have a, a cheap $10 MP3 player, you can download all the episodes, listen to them at your leisure, leisure. Um, or if you do have a mobile device, you have an iPhone, iPad, iPod, you can go to iTunes, uh, go to the iTunes store up. It's towards the upper right part of the upper right part of the screen. Just click podcasts. And then search for Two Strangers, One Podcast. We're on there. It comes up. Um, just make sure, because it says Chris and Kristen, Two Strangers, One Podcast. Yeah. But that's us. You know, the little that's red us. logo with the, the bathroom symbol. <laughs> with Two Strangers, One <laughs> that's Podcast. That's where we record in the bathroom. Oh, that'd just be Just so awesome. everybody knows. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're on iTunes. iTunes is totally free. I don't know how you got this. 
I, you know, any new listeners, maybe you got spammed by me. Um, <laughs> you can, uh, you know, download the episodes from our page. Download us now. Once again, with iTunes, you can get every single brand new. Uh, you can get every single episode in the past. Download them. Download them on your time at home. Carry them with you later, or you can subscribe to us on iTunes. When you subscribe, you get all the new episodes. Um, we've never announced like an official schedule, and I want to keep it that way, but we pretty much put out two episodes a week, right. Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I don't want to put that in stone just because if someone put it in stone, yeah. that's, when it gonna, <laughs> yeah. that's when it's going to get jinxed. But, but for the most part, that's what we have. the past yeah. 50 some odd episodes, we've been doing them an Keeping hour, like that. Tuesday and Thursdays. Um, so, you know, if you break that down, that's pretty much... If you break down people's commute during, you know, if you're lucky, all you're doing is two hours worth of commuting. You know, I, yeah. Because I listen to podcasts while I'm driving around, so right. um, we're there for you guys. <laughs> we got um, your back. Yeah, we're there to keep you laughing while you're on the road dealing with that asshole in front of you. It just won't fucking move. Um, Chris sorry, has a little bit of a little road rage. Road rage flash back there. <laughs> um, and then there's the for Android devices. There's the Stitcher app, S T I T C H E R. If you have an Android phone, Android tablet, uh, Kindle Fire. Now the one now Stitcher only keeps our most recent episodes. Right. I think it goes back like five or six episodes. Um, we did have an we did have a problem with the feed what? a while back <laughs> where um the only it was only the first two minutes of the episode, episode fifty two. Um, nice little teaser. And as soon as I, <laughs> as soon as it was brought to my attention that there was a problem, I I contacted Stitcher and they had it fixed they literally had it fixed within the hour of the time I sent. Um, Love you, email. Stitcher. The Stitcher people are so cool. It's you know, it's it's like new. I, if Stitcher was a girl, Chris if would Stitcher date was Stitcher. Was a girl? Oh my Chris, god! Chris would stalk Stitcher. Oh, Stitcher would you know? You would have Stitcher's name tattooed. On well, she's the she's the good girl. She's the one that kind of like you know, she'll hook you up. She you know keeps what I'm it saying? Gangnam style. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, they are so awesome. And like I said, I had a problem within an hour. Now, you know, I contacted them about like 7 o'clock at night, which I guess is, it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, their time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got customer support. Within or, by 5. Yeah, yeah. At 4 o'clock in the afternoon, their time. Who the fuck is... Who's working at that who's time? Who's working at 4 o'clock in the afternoon? I mean, God bless you I guys. I give up after, this, but, after lunch. Yeah. I would be, you know... <laughs> I was surprised. I'm surprised it wasn't those things. It was like it wasn't handled the next day. It was yeah. handled within an hour of, of and you know, and I double checked. I went on our site and made sure the feed was good. I made on I, I went on iTunes to make sure the feed was good. It was just for whatever reason there was a little hiccup. It was solved immediately, and I love Stitcher very much. Um, let me see. Uh, you can find us on Facebook if you if that isn't how you found us the first time. Uh, Facebook dot com slash Two Strangers One Podcast. Um, Please click the like button and click hover over the like button and click show in news feed because unfortunately only like 20% of our audience, 20% of the likes actually get every single update, which right now we're floating around 310 likes, which means only like 30 people get the likes. The more activity happens on the page, the more people actually get the likes. So, um, if you want to give us feedback, I guess the feedback would be the, the best way to get it. It would, get to us would be through Facebook. Um, and like I said, I'm fascinated. For all the people, everybody who listens to the show, now we're getting downloads in Japan. We're getting downloads in um, Poland. All right. Germany. International love. Yeah. Uh, Canada, of course. We, of course. And, and um, I, uh, Ottawa, Canada in okay. particular. Because um, it lets us know Canada and then like I clicked on it. And so, and Ottawa is relatively close to yeah. to Rochester. So I've been there before. I'm I've I, I want to go. I want to go now. We're going. I want to go to Ottawa. We're so going you guys, to if you want to let us uh, couch surf, or at the very least, do you have any good suggestions on a place to go? Like if if, if people are going to contact us and let us know about where you're from, give me the name of a bar. Yeah. And please don't read. Don't send me to like the Blue Oyster Bar. <laughs> don't We're send not me going to no, there. Uh, leather gay clubs. Even really? though that would be fun. Um, you know, I, I want to know. I want to learn about this. I want to learn about other parts of the world or other parts of our country. So, if you're gonna get in contact with us, you know, say, oh, hey, look, I'm from Ottawa, Canada, and if you want to go to, the, there's this one bar called, you know, I, I heard, damn, that's the bad Leather bad Hole. Place. Yeah, the manhole, <laughs> the toolbox. Here we go. Uh, We're going. <laughs> you know, da, 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 see Joe Simpson there. Um, 
Yeah. So once again, people, thank you for your support. You, thank we have you, the thank best you. looking audience on the internet. Gorgeous. Um, like us on Facebook. Please share us on Facebook. It takes two seconds. If you get to the update or you come and visit our page, if you want to share the most recent episode or if there's any episode that you like in particular, share, share that episode. Oh, the, uh, this episode where they talk about, you know, um, ass licking. This is a, this is a really oh, funny episode. Yeah. Share, <laughs> share us with your friends. Um, and like I said, if you want to give us any feedback or like I said, I, I want to learn more about you guys and what's, where's the cool places to hang out down by you. So contact us on Facebook and let us know what's going on in your, in your country, in your, in your, in your corner of the woods. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. You know, I, I usually, that goes a lot faster, but I just want that to. 20 minutes later. Oh, speak to our audience. <laughs> it's not all about just disseminating information. It's about, you know. Chris is trying to reach out. Sharing and having fun. And, and let me tell you, I certainly hope you enjoyed listening to the show as much fun as we had recording it. Just listen to it. We're having a blast over here. Um, thank you for joining in the party. And thank you for listening to Two Strangers One Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Kristen. Don't be a stranger. See ya. Bye. Bye. All right, here we go, man. Go ahead. You want to read Double it? Jackpot. What is it? It is a self-published book by Christopher Cologne. Chris it's- Cologne? Smells good to me. But- <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. I broke that fucking cold little exterior. He's like, hee. But it is spelled C-O-L-O-N. Him punny. But... <laughs> <laughs> Double Jackpot is a book about a comic book artist, Eric, who is in a loveless relationship with oh, a materialistic I feel you, Eric. Lynette. I know, I know. Oh, fucking. Are you oh, sure God. I didn't write this? <laughs> uh, I, I smell, sounds hauntingly familiar. He starts cheating on his girlfriend with a more creatively, su- sorry, creatively supportive woman, Nadia. Oh, I, I gotta meet her. Where's the Nadia? There's your summer girlfriend. Summer Nadia is Nadia. Nadia? Yeah, I think Nadia spelled with an A. All right. Both Lynette and uh, Nadia play the double jackpot, the largest payout in lotto history, much like the recent Powerball. Both girls play his birth date as the winning re- as the winning numbers. Eric is now stuck between two of the country's richest women. Who will he choose? It's not that simple. This is a clever fucking idea, yeah, man. Is. Look at her, fucking. She's impressed. I am. Summer. She got some summer reading. <laughs> Christopher Cologne smells real lovely with an original idea. This is. I've never heard this before. I haven't either. This is a self-published book, much in the indie spirit as Kev's Clerks. Oh, you don't even need to name check me. This is just a good idea. You could stand on your own, man. You don't even have to be like, hey, remember Clerks? This is nothing like that. (laughs) This is way more original than Clerks. This is a good idea, man. Why didn't I think it is? I need something to read. This book is part of the Comic Books Heavy Metal Video Games Trilogy Book 2, Odd I See, A Tale from the Road, coming soon. Right on, man. It's part of a trilogy. This is the first part. Way to write, man. He's seeking a literary agent. Motherfuckers, anybody out there? There ain't no literary agents listening to this show, I assure you, sure. Sure. I assure you, sure. But somebody know a literary agent? Hook a motherfucker up! Chris Cologne come up with an original idea. I should tell Raskin. That's a good fucking idea, to be so honest too. with you. That's a fucking rom-com right there. Megan, get Raskin on the phone. <laughs> Isn't it possible to get Raskin on the phone? No? Yeah. I want to run it past him, man. I want to, And if it happens, I get a taste, Chris Cologne. I get a, a whiff, if you will. The book could also be ordered on www. L-U-L-U dot com. That's Lulu dot com. I understand that. I just wanted to spell it out. <laughs> <laughs> Normally one says it that spells it. Still, Lulu dot com. What is that? Do you know what it is? I don't know. All right. The book could also be ordered on www dot Lulu dot com. Search for Double Jackpot Christopher Cologne. A paperback version of the book is $15 and a PDF file is only five bucks. Five dollars yeah. is insanely inexpensive. Fifteen is not even that bad for a hard for a paperback version. No, this is a million dollar idea right here. Like a, a fucking a movie about a dude who fucking is stuck between two chicks, both of who play his birthday and win the lottery. Come on, I come! Like I it. can see that trailer. Chris Cologne is on to something. Nobody else can smell it but me. I'll read it. Thank you. I'm gonna make that smelly joke. I know on. you're trying to get me to laugh again. It worked once. <laughs> Double Jackpot is a self-published book by Chris Cologne, man. It's the first book in his comic books, heavy metal video games trilogy. Book two, Odd I See, A Tale from the Road, should be coming out soon. Get all the information. 
Chris Cologne like a motherfucker. I and will his totally book, read this. Double jackpot. I'm serious. I'm going to recommend that to fucking Raskin. That's, how is that not a movie? You know what I'm saying? This could be a sexy movie. You could do an R-rated version. There could be nudie in it. And you could sell them fucking both chicks. Maybe a little penetration. Maybe a butthole shot. No butthole, no care. I would like to formally apologize to Christopher Cologne. Right no, now, sex but... sells. <laughs> Chris Cologne will appreciate that. He's like, thanks for throwing a few buttholes in there, man. Don't forget to check out two strangers one podcast.net, your one stop resource for everything show related. You can find links to subscribe to us on iTunes or on Stitcher. You could also find links to buy my book, Double Jackpot, on two strangers one podcast.net. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. And fuck you, I'm out.